This is Welcome to Synchronicity. No guest this week. Uh, I truthfully don't have uh, that much to say this week, but I did want to say that anyone who's listening, um, not only do I appreciate your support, but make sure you're taking care of yourself. I think that's probably the only piece of advice I'm qualified to give at this point is that if there's something good that you can do for yourself and others, it's to take care of yourself. So do something nice for yourself this week. Um, that can be doing something nice for someone else. But if you're the type of person where you're just going to take that and uh, make it about the other person so you don't have to focus on yourself, don't do that. Take care of yourself. Do something very nice. Uh, I don't know what that would be for you, but uh, it's worthwhile to do that. And I'm not doing this as some like inspirational, you know, you got to be good to yourself and then the universe will provide what you want. Nope, it's not what I'm suggesting at all. I'm just saying... If you're nice to yourself, that can only help but to uh, expand out into the world. It's been my experience, at least, and I notice when I'm being hard on myself, I tend to be a little harsher critic of the world and the things around me. So it's just a little piece of thing, a piece of thing that I'd like to share. We're going to go with that as a sentence. Okay. Uh, Thank you, as always, to my Patreon supporters. Patrick Nemchik, you're the coolest man. I love seeing your Facebook pictures of your cute doggies. Um... Truthfully, there's the crypto sync thing, blah, blah. You know what it is at this point. Um, Really, I just appreciate that there are people who are finding uh, benefit out of this. I know a lot of you have written to me in recent weeks uh, sharing experiences. This is particularly after the Shane Mouse, there I go again, Shane Moss uh, episode where he shared a big synchronicity kind of, uh, what do we call it? Schism another dimension of the the multiverse express that he witnessed. A lot of people have written to me about similar experiences. And there's something I want to touch on relating to that is, listen, if you've gone through a very traumatic, and that's what that is, whether it was you know good or bad is not to be determined here, but a traumatic experience like that, just allow yourself the time and the space to process what happened. Don't jump to any conclusions. Don't um, feel that you have to do anything or contextualize any certain experiences. I think you want to have some fluidity um, and flexibility in terms of analyzing your own psychological, mental, emotional states. And for anyone who has no idea what I'm talking about, I'm talking about the episode with Shane Moss where he basically, you know, did a ton of psychedelics ranging from mushrooms to ayahuasca and various DMT components um, where he basically, you know, crushed his ego Shane existence, had a lot of weird paranormal experiences take place. And as someone who had been primarily a skeptic um, was, you know, caught off guard by these experiences as anyone would be, especially when reality doesn't work the way we expect it to. So my point is this is unless uh, I was actually talking about this with my therapist today. Uh, Unless you're doing something that's harming yourself or other people, I'm generally okay with it. But make sure that behavior um, that you're engaging in, especially related to psychedelics, if you're choosing to partake, um, isn't leading toward a destructive state that won't be productive for you. For me, maybe this is wrong. I think one of the coolest things that, you know, psychedelics, meditation, any internal practice Um, allows us is a reference point for seeing our own internal states. If we get lost um, in that process and start mistaking the forest for the trees, um, you know, we don't want to do that. (laughs) Is is there a better way to say that? I don't know, probably. But just be aware of what you're doing um, and take care of yourself. So I just want to remind you that you rule, um, pursue that thing you wanted to pursue, uh, follow, take some tangible steps in doing something that will make your life better. Um, one of the things that I've been talking about a lot with people is, 
um, talking a lot about with people. Is that no? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go with that as sentence. Um, is this idea of what would you do if you didn't have to, um, you know, work at a job that you maybe didn't like? Not that you have to do anything, but is there something that you would like to do? And I think that's an important question because if you can envision that reality, you could potentially envision steps that would get you there, which is something that I think a lot of people don't do. Um, so I don't know what the hell I'm talking about at this point. Um, I just want to thank you for listening and there will be guests next week. I'm trying to get into the city, record a bunch of them. Some with people you know, some with people you don't. Um, so stay tuned and I will see you next week.